In this video, I will show you how to calculate electric force vectors. Let's say that we have charge Q1 on the negative y axis with a charge of 10 to minus 9 coulombs and a position of 0, minus 0.1 and 0 meters. We have charge Q2 on the positive x axis. Charge Q2 is minus 2 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs and the position vector of charge Q2 is 0 0.200 meters. The first step in calculating the electric force vector is to find this position vector that goes from charge 1 on charge 2. To calculate this position vector, we need to calculate the position vector R2 minus the position vector of R1. And since we have all the numbers here, if we do the calculations, we will find that this is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 meters. Now, the next step in calculating the electric force is to find the magnitude of this vector. So, we need to calculate the magnitude of this relative position vector. To do that, we need to take the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. Now, in this case, the x component is 0.2, the y component is the 0.1, and the z component is 0. If we do the calculations, we will find the magnitude to be 0.22 meters. The next step is to find the unit vector r hat. And to find in general any unit vector, we need to divide the vector itself with the magnitude. And in this case, we already have this vector, it's this quantity right here, and we just calculated the magnitude, the 0.22 meters. If we do these calculations, we will find that the unit vector has an x component of 0.89, a y component of 0.45, and a z component of 0. Notice that unit vectors do not have any units because the units here in the numerator cancel out with the units in the denominator. Now, the next and final step in calculating the electric force is to plug in everything in the electric force equation. So this is the electric force from charge 1 on charge 2. This is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught charge Q1 times charge Q2 divided by the magnitude of the vector that goes from 1 to 2 and that is squared times the unit vector that goes from 1 to 2. Now, if you take a look here, we have all the quantities that we need to f calculate the electric force. So, this is a constant that is approximately equal 9 times 10 to the 9. Q1 is 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. Q2 is minus 2 times 10 to minus 9. The magnitude of the vector r is 0.22 meters. And this should be squared. And finally, the unit vector r hat is given over here. This is everything we need to calculate the electric force. Now, my suggestion is when you have this kind of calculation, first do the calculation that you see over here because all of these are scalars, all of these are numbers. Do this calculation first and then the number that you find multiplied with each component of the r hat vector here. If you do the calculation, you will find that the electric force 
from 1 from charge 1 on charge 2 is given by this vector minus 3.22 times 10 to minus 7 comma minus 1.61 times 10 to minus 7 and 0 newtons now let's see if this result makes sense we got a negative x component and, and a negative y component let's go back to our picture we see here q1 is a positive charge and q2 is a negative charge since those two charges have the opposite sign there is an attractive force between them so the force on q2 by q1 points towards q1 and this is why we have a negative x component for the force and a negative y component for the force so this is consistent with what we expect for an attractive force from q1 to q2